My name is Sister Mary Juanita, and I'm a Religious Sister of Mercy from Alma, Michigan. My name is Sister Sean Marie, and I am part of the Religious Sisters of Mercy of Alma, Michigan. My name is Sister Marie Mechtild, and I'm in the Order of the Religious Sisters of Mercy of Alma, Michigan. When I first met the sisters, I didn't know much about the sisters, but I knew that the Lord was bringing me to the community, and it was a gradual discovery of what mercy is, um, and how it's lived out in our community, and why the Lord was calling me to this particular charism within this particular institute. In preparation for vows, it just um, praying about and learning more about the vows and what they mean and the graces that are brought in by living of the vows and more of that close bond with the Lord. Um, it continues to grow every day and will continue after professing. Um, that's one of the, the beauties of uh, preparing for final vows. Community life um, helps to in a very important way draw you away from yourself and um, so that also um, you see more clearly Christ um, because we believe that our Lord is there with us in the deepest part of our lives. I think I learned finally um, things about faith that, that I did not know. With living with the sisters, there is a, a more solid foundation of faith. And this is not, uh, not easy to, to break up again. Venerable Catherine Macaulay, the stories I love. I love the stories that she really, um, as long as she lived and could do it, visited always the convents and the sisters to, to keep in touch with them and to help them also to build up the convent and, and religious life. And in this way that she, when she could not go, she always wrote letters and really funny things and, and uh, poems and simple to, to lift them up also in, in the really heavy time. So this was, this is my favorite thing from Mother Catherine. When I got to know the sushi pill, the prayer of Mother Catherine, this was for me something which, um, and it's still something which I keep with me because this was probably one of the mo most uh, important reasons why I entered in the end. Sister Marie McTill, Sister Mary Joanny and I entered eight years ago. And then it's unusual that we were missioned together as well. So we spent, I think, with Sister Marie McTilde, I was with her for seven out of the eight years of formation, and Sister Mary Juanita, six years out of the eight, wow. which is unusual. Usually you're just together the first two years, but we had it as an extra blessing. We know each other so well, so it's beautiful to be, get, to be together doing this, giving our lives to the Lord. It's just, it's a beautiful life. In every life, in every vocation, there are difficulties, um, but the joys far outweigh the difficulties. And, your spouse is a crucified spouse, a crucified king, so you expect that, but you know that he's with you in it, and you're, um, you're supported by that and lifted up by that, and his love is just so much more powerful than anything you can experience. Set me like a seal on your heart, as a seal upon your arm. The Song of Songs is a poem about the power of love between a lover and his beloved. Throughout the work, the words and sentiments.
swing back and forth between the two individuals. In our passage today, the words are those of the Beloved, a new bride, speaking of the love between her and her lover. She is full of joy. She prays that her deepest affections may never cease to flow. That there will be no ebbing of the happiness she feels at this very moment. She then expresses her deepest desire that her lover will set her as a seal upon his heart, just as he might wear her seal on his arm, or as a signet around his neck, where it is attached to a string and hangs near his heart. When such a seal or signet was worn, the importance was not about the seal itself, but rather the name inscribed upon it. The name of the Beloved held close to his heart. So in a way, the bride is saying to her lover, Don't ever let me be out of your thoughts or removed from the fullness of your love. Don't let this feeling of passion and security ever leave me. In and of itself, the Song of Songs would be a beautiful poem of human love, but it is much more. It is a work which sings of the love between the Lord and his beloved people, Israel. Because of the Lord's deep love for his people, he transformed Israel into a new spiritual people, betrothed anew to her divine lover. Over and over, Israel becomes a new bride. With the coming of Jesus Christ, we, the Church, become the Beloved, the Bride of Christ. The Song of Songs then becomes our poem to the Lord. We pray that we will always be in His love, that we will always be in the thoughts of Jesus and supported by Him, that we will always be on His mind, and that we will always be under His care and protection. This relationship is true whatever our vocation in life. But most especially this image of the lover and his beloved is at the heart of this profession of vows of ceremony. You, Sister Mary Swanita, Sister Sean Marie, Sister Marie Mechtel, you are God's beloved. And on behalf of Jesus, Mother Mary McGreevy has called you by name. In John's Gospel, the words of your lover, the Lord Jesus, remind us that it was not you who chose me, but I who chose you. His love is unquestionable. For this reason, Jesus speaks to your heart, so that his joy may be in you, and your joy, therefore, complete. Just as your pledge of love is inscribed in the ring you will wear, so also is your name inscribed in the heart of Jesus. St. Peter reminds us that although you have not seen him, you love him. 
even though you do not see him now, yet you believe in him. You rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Pray about it and pray before the Blessed Sacrament and really be open because we are all we have all have fears in us and the biggest fear is probably that we will never find ourselves we will find ourselves more than any anything else if we really go ahead and do pray and stay with the Lord ask him and he will answer time and eternity teach me to cast myself entirely into 